Hello, my name is Erica, and I'm the dyslexic Trekkie. For those who don't know, a trope is a literary concept. It's a sort of shorthand for a story device that's so familiar that people recognize it right away. If I say red shirt, most any Trekkie will assume I'm about to talk about a background character's death. That's a trope. It's a useful tool if you need a situation where fans need to count on what's about to happen. And subverting it is useful if you want to throw your audience off, like having two red shirts in a scene but the regular character is killed. There's nothing wrong with using tropes in a story. The issue comes when the trope is the story. There's a few examples. Factor reset episodes, aka it never happened. This can be a great way of doing things with characters you never do, but it means there's no story progression. It was all a dream, same issue. Only one person is affected and no one knows why. But the third one is the worst, Groundhog's Day episodes. You have the pointlessness of the factory reset day and the surrealism of it's all a dream, but on repeat. The reset happens at least three times because of the rule of three, but also to allow a few tries for the crew to show they're picking up on what's happening. But this is the issue. How are they picking up on it? In cause and effect, we find the crew getting that vague sense of something off and Data is able to send a message through the time loop. That's all well and good, but then Fraser Ship pops out in a pre-TNG uniform saying it's the early 24th century. He thinks it's been a day. No weird deja vu. You can explain why Data's brain picked up on it. His brain works differently. You can say other crew had a vague sense of things repeating themselves. But how did the other crew go on so long without realizing something was happening? They had some sense, but decades passed with less disorientation. And this is one issue. In the movie Groundhog's Day, Bill Murray knows something's off. He remembers the repeat and works out he has to set the day right. But in Star Trek, when they have these days, the crew usually doesn't know. They have to be clued in on it and usually have to work out what's happening each reset. The other issue is advancing the story. It's a slot filler. Usually the crew shakes it off and they say that's weird, then go on their way. Back to the real story. It's fluff. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with occasional fluff, but it's treated like it's pivotal. That alone makes it annoying. You can miss every single Groundhog's Day episode and miss nothing of the main stories. In the 80s and 90s, that was okay. With 26 episodes, there was room for filler, but with 10 a season, there's no space for fluff. When Star Trek Discovery did their Groundhog's Day episode, they did at least make sure one person did know what was going on outside of Harry Mudd. As Groundhog's Day episodes go, it's not as bad as some of the others, but that's not a very high bar. When the story is done, Harry Met is captured, he's sent back with his wife and father-in-law, and the story has moved on its merry little way. It does at least tie up the story of Harry Mudd, but you could just not watch the episode and know exactly what was still going on. We all have those literary tropes we're sick of, even if we don't know what the term means. This one's always been my least favorite, regardless of the genre. The moment I see that repeat of the day, I'm sitting there looking at the screen, wondering why everything just went all wrong. So I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. What's your least favorite literary trope? Is it a Star Trek trope? Or is it something that you see in other areas of TV and writing as well? Thank you for watching. If you like the subject, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, feelings, or ideas on the subject, please share in the comments below. Again, my name is Erica. And I'm the dyslexic Trekkie. On another note, I'd like to wish everybody a very happy New Year's. And I'd like to thank those who have subscribed. On behalf of Vincent Bradbury, you'd like to make sure everybody stays nice and safe so Starfleet doesn't have to come after you and save you. He needs his naps.